Greetings, listener. Please enjoy the unintelligible ramblings of your favorite dynamic trio, Arva, Farah, and Westy, as they get into the little things that peeve them. Welcome to The Unintelligibles. everyone and welcome back to another episode of the unintelligibles i am your host for this week Farah, uh joined by my ever lovely co-hosts westa west huh what? mulligan <laughs> hold up <laughs> who the secret I fourth combined host your names i combined your names arva and westy to westa 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 mulligan i'm starting over Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of The Unintelligibles. I am your host for this week, Farah, joined by my lovely co-hosts, Westy and Arva. Hi. I definitely Hi. didn't have to redo our intro because I <laughs> fucked up. I really names. hope she leaves it in there just as like a rewind sound effect. <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. I just created a new co-host. Nice it's actually fusion. Westy's replacement. We haven't been able to find anybody. Some reason nobody wants to do the podcast. I don't know why. You know, yeah, it's the long exactly. hours, the no pay, the death threats. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. No benefits. Clearly, not used to being terrible. YouTubers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's been a little while since we last recorded. Um, obviously, like two seconds ago. Yeah. Right. But uh, well, how was your guys' weeks this week? Oh God! <laughs> Mine's long. Arva, how was your week? Oh, mine was a a week. That's I know you sure. both had weeks. I mine was boring, my normal, and not nothing Damn. happened. So I want to hear what you happened. To you. I mean, I know what happened to you guys, but <laughs> tell the audience. Let's trauma dump everybody. Let's trauma dump. Welcome yeah, yeah, to okay, hashtag okay. venting. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a therapy appointment now, so hey Damn. guys, you are now stuck here. Um, so my week was very, very strong at the beginning. So on Tuesday was my day off, and I was going to touch grass. Whoa, never doing that again. I'm a VTuber. Obviously, things are not meant to go that way. <laughs> so I went out to my first ever like hardcore show with my friends because they're very much into like punk screamo all that stuff and i was like yeah i'll go with you sure i love you guys i'll go watch this show with you i've never been there it's not my kind of music but i'll do it i had a pretty damn good time uh it was very intense though like full punk only screamo was performing that night like really intense and i was like okay yeah i, I could get into this uh the last show comes around or the the second last show and they're on like their last song and i start feeling like faint and i'm like oh this isn't good but i'm like ah it's their last song i'll be able to get outside get some air whatever there's tough it up stick through it you'll be fine and then it really started picking up and i was like oh it's not gonna be fine is it so i tell my friend hey i gotta go outside and get some air you want to come with me and we start walking and it starts picking up really fast and i start feeling like i have to pass out i'm like oh great um, pass out into the door to the outside, oh. so, like <laughs> fall out onto the sidewalk. Thankfully, I like tucked and rolled while passed out, so I didn't hit my head, but like slammed into my shoulder and hip really hard into like the sidewalk of the city. Stood up again. I couldn't like see. I was still in like pass out state, so I couldn't really see where I was. Sat back down somewhere, <laughs> who knows where. Um, I get offered a chair, and then I'm just I just feel awful. I'm like on and off passing out. And then I feel the throw up coming and I'm like, oh, I don't want to throw up. I don't want to throw up in the middle of Vancouver. Like, I don't want to do this. But I was like, oh, I'm going to have to, aren't I? Like, it's going to make me feel better. So I throw up. And then as I'm throwing up, I hear like a whole bunch of people around me. They're like, yo, is this guy on Molly? <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite part. And oh my God, in my head, I was like, this is so embarrassing. I'm like, you know what? It's honestly better if they think I'm on Molly. So I didn't say anything. None of my friends did, but I'm just assuming that everyone thought I was on Molly. I wasn't. I was literally just overstimulated and high. <laughs> so much different than being on Molly. But they were like, this guy's on Molly. Anyone else here on Molly? And I'm like, no, I'm not on Molly. I'm just, <laughs> apparently I'm a pussy. Um, and so I throw up, I'm starting to like get back into like 
I can see again and I'm not passing out. And my friend's like, hey, do you want to you want to do you think you can walk to the car? We'll, we'll take you home. And I'm like, yeah, I, w- I would very much like that. Uh, walk back, get to the car, waiting for her to clean her car out before I get in. <laughs> And then I scroll on Facebook and I notice that my cat had passed away. So as I'm in this like delirious state of like, I'm still like not quite there. Also feel like I might have just gotten a concussion. I did it. My head's fine. But I felt like I could have. I was like, oh, I don't feel so. Like, I feel really out of it. And then I see that on Facebook and I close it instantly. I'm like, tonight is not the night I have to deal with this information. <laughs> I will not look at this. Uh, go back to my friend's house. The she uh, they get home finally later at night and they're like, hey, I know you just threw up and passed the fuck out. But like, do you want to smoke more weed? And I was like, yes, <laughs> I do. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Obviously. After tonight, I need to, something else to cope with it. So smoked more weed, went to sleep, woke up, went home and then bed rotted for the pet next like three days because I just then I realized what happened that night. And I was like, I need I need rest. <laughs> I need mental and physical rest. And here we are after my bed rot for three days. I'm out of my shell again. Welcome back. Yay. Thank you. That was about it. It was only really like one or two days that were super eventful, but they were like eventful enough to make up the whole week. That was still very eventful. Oh, my God. (laughs) That's what I get for trying to touch grass as a VTuber. It's just not allowed. That's true. You made a terrible, terrible mistake. Yeah, the VTuber gods had to spite me. They went, nah, bitch. Get back in your room. Start streaming. (laughs) You are not in your element. (laughs) Well, I had a... I kind of had a nice little roller coaster going on. Because Mm. I went to Disney World for the first time. Oh... A lot of fun. Mm-hmm. The main problem is we went with we went with like a little group of people. All together, there were nine of us, which is too many. Yeah. Yeah, for Disney. Yeah. But it wasn't supposed to be like a we're all just gonna hang. It's like a, you know people break off, go do their own thing. Right. That's like how it was pitched. So it was me, Adrian, her brother. Uh, one of our kind of work friends with her husband and then Adrian's best friend and Adrian's cousin. Now, Adrian and I had to share a hotel room with her best friend and cousin. Her best friend snores so loud and talks in her sleep. No, I'm not, yeah. I'm not, even, I'm not even meant saying like a little, uh, you mean, no, like a full on, she'll wake up. If that's what you fucking want yelling and then just pass out. <laughs> and it's so fucking scary. I had to wear earplugs. Understandable. Like, the rides there were fine. I We went to all the parks. I had no real issue with anything. Universal sucks ass. I hate Universal. Oh, I was the opposite. See, I didn't enjoy Disney, I but I loved Universal. It, my problem with Universal, I'm a big guy, and the seats are not meant for big guys. Oh. And I wasn't really, Damn. like excited to go shopping for a $50 t-shirt like I I look at that and I'm like I don't really need that Disney That's all fair. the rides could accommodate me and I'm like you know what I'm gonna enjoy myself here you but know, they are the true American experience yeah their rides are big to accommodate <laughs> I appreciate it though better than yeah. Universal where I was crammed in there and barely fit and there was like a bar up my ass <laughs> that sucks. That sucks so bad. <laughs> yeah, if you're slightly bigger, and by slightly bigger, I mean if you're like 190 pounds and above, I want to say like five foot nine. Universal is not for you. That's that's how small their seats are. Well, I'm tiny, so I don't have that problem. Yeah, you have to be a fucking child to get. I'm like anything. three feet tall. Yeah, you're the perfect yeah. height for. You probably fit and fit in there perfectly. So. It was weird because her best friend was very clingy. Like, we were standing in line waiting for rides, and she would, like, elbow me out of the way to get one step closer to Adrian. I'm like, can I fucking help you? Like, this this is a weird childish thing you're doing. 
and she was like refusing to go off on her own like she really wanted Dole Whip but we weren't going to that Dole Whip stand we're going to another one and she's like well I guess I just won't have anything then like what the yeah I'm like you're like Uh... you're like 30 what the fuck are you doing (laughs) like you're acting like a child and then her cousin who's like 19 I think she's in the exact wrong age to enjoy vacations at the moment. Because she's like, I would not spend the money to come back here. There's too many people. There's lines. And it's like, yeah, it's Disney. There's lines. Well, I can't believe there's people here. Are you serious right now? (sighs) It was the point she stopped at the, uh, we went to Epcot and we get the poutine at Epcot, which is great. But they also had this like bacon cheddar soup she wanted. And there was a line. It was from Canada. And there was a line at the Canadian booth. And she stood in that line for two minutes. And she walked up saying, literally, fuck this whole fucking place. Crying Aww. because there was a line. And I was like, what the fuck was that? Bitch, I stood in line for 20 minutes today to get a cookie from Tim Hortons. All right, relax. Yeah. <laughs> and so th- we were just dealing with that. And, you know, share a hotel room. You come back. She paid for nothing. We paid for all of her dinners. We paid for everything. Ooh. At most, she had to go buy a charger because her charger died. And she was like, this was 30 goddamn dollars. That is way too fucking much. Like, bitch, you got an Apple charger. You spent like $5 more than you would on Amazon. Don't go yeah. on vacation if you can't afford it. Like, I don't understand. That's the thing. I know you're going to be like, you're going to have FOMO. But if you can't afford it, then fucking like it sucks. Dude. Well. <laughs> It's one of those, she came out as trans and her fa- whole family disowned her and we're very supportive. So we're like, hey, come on vacation. You know, we, we still want you to be included in family stuff. But after this, it's like, you know what? You're going to sit out the next couple of vacations yeah. until you can appreciate going on them. Cause, I don't care how oppressed you are, bitch. If you're complaining, I ain't buying it. Yeah, like it's, it's yeah. the point now where I'm like, you know what? I think if she doesn't go on vacation for like, I want to say like three years when she realizes she can't afford to just leave for two weeks. She'll be like, damn, I really missed that one Disney trip where I didn't have to go to work every day. Yeah. And then when we got back, I got real fucking sick. I got so sick. I'm still actually kind of sick. So if I hear, you hear me cough, I took medicine to kind of suppress it. It should last, but I was gone. When I had this weird thing of like I was in the bathroom throwing up, but I was hallucinating so bad. Oh, I don't man. know if it's because I was dehydrated or like what I got was so bad, but I was pouring sweat. I was hydrating. I was having conversations with myself. I was claymation. I was drawn. I was a oh, bug in an god. alternate universe. Oh my god! And I was oh talking. God. I was talking to myself in the bathroom, and they were like, "Yeah, we could hear you mumbling up there," and I was just like. I, what the fuck? I was so gone. I I was up there throwing up for three hours straight. Like, three hours of heaving. It was so bad. I was in so much pain. My entire, like, core was cramped. From the bottom of my neck to, like, the bottom of my stomach was one giant cramped knot. And then we got a message being like, are we doing usual time? And I was like, I'm going to be real with you. I'm not real at the moment. (laughs) I am currently like Gumby in the sink, just dancing. I'm gone. (laughs) I'm everywhere and nowhere at once. You you ever have that where like your whole life is just flashing before your eyes and you're no longer real in that moment? Yeah, that was kind of what happened to me. I think I haven't hit that age. Okay, maybe I'm just too boring. I don't know. (laughs) Well, to be fair, it took me being like high as a kite and passed out on the side of Vancouver to like feel that feeling. But I did feel it. I was like, is this happening right now? This doesn't feel like I feel like I'm in a movie. (laughs) Yeah, I just got like so fucking sick. And I was I think it was just all the dehydration. And I was just losing it. because It was also like three or four in the morning. Which was normal. So peak but, delusional time. Well, it's kind of normal for me because you know, I work night shift, but I'd been on a day shift schedule at Disney, so I'd been waking up at like, you mm. know, eight in the morning. And then this yeah. was the first day where I tried to sleep in and it didn't work. And I had to go to work the next day. 
And oh I was just God. like, oh, please fucking kill me. I don't even know if I'm real. I yeah. can't go to work. It's like, I, I have no more leave, and I don't want to go AWOL, so. Oh, well. Man. Yeah, that was, that was my time. Yeah, I can see how that's a roller coaster. <laughs> yeah, overall, Disney, love Disney, did not like Universal. I'm too big for their mm. parks, and I'm not really, I'm too old to be like, oh, wow, look at, you know, their Shrek. Like, we went and met Shrek. You're never That's too fair. old to get excited over your Okay, here's the thing. We met Shrek, took his hand, we made a deal. We own one foot by one foot of swamp now. Anyway. Hey. It's one of those... I'm not really super excited to just go look at things. I kind of want to do the ride. That was too big for the rides. That's fair. So I That's like fair. Disney more, but... I like to look at things. I'm a look at things person. Mm. I'm really not a look at things. Like... Certain things like that's kind of cool, but I I get the same feeling looking at a picture of it. So yeah, unless it's like yeah. Yellowstone, where yeah, you can look at a picture of Yellowstone, but I really like being out in nature. I don't really care about oh my god, look at the ball, it's spinning. Like, ooh, <laughs> ooh. I'm a variety person too. Yeah, like all the rides at Disney, they were comfy, they accommodated me. I had fun. The Guardians ride at Epcot, yo. That was the most... Oh, I haven't gotten to ride that yet. I'm not going to spoil anything for you, but it's one of the most fun rides, and they have a random song that plays. Like, we got uh, Everybody Wants to Rule the World the first time, and the whole time, it was like, this is so fucking cool, because you're on a roller coaster with so many visuals cool. exploding around you. And the roller coaster See, fucking rotates. Ah, oh, man. See, that'd be really cool because in Disneyland, they made the Tower of Terror. They turned that into the Galaxy ride. So yeah, you go on the Tower of Terror now, but it's the Guardians of the Galaxy. And they also have like a random song that plays. So it's really good. I love it. it I love the Tower of Terror. So it's nice. It's a nice ride to have switched over. But man, the roller coaster sounds really fun. I like roller coasters more. That'd be so fun. Oh, I that was my favorite ride. Like of all of them, that's number one. If I yeah. ever go back, it's like I have to ride that. Well, I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how was your week? <laughs> um, boring compared to your guys's week. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have. Um, I mean, I pretty much just work. <laughs> it's not. I did yeah. get I did get told that um I might get a new position at my place of work that is something that I'm more interested in than Ooh. what I'm doing currently. So that's good. I'm excited for that. It won't be until like January. But that does mean that I can finally quit my other job. Hey, which is nice because it tastes like garbage. And honestly, like having to go to work after work is the worst. It's yeah. Just, after a long day, I just want to like, I don't want to go to another job. I want to go to home and like go to bed. That's fair. Yeah. So that's exciting. Other than that, though, kind of just. Same old, same old. Um, but you guys had very exciting weeks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Makes up for my lack of excitement. I was going to say it was just exciting. the balance. Exciting quote. Yeah, well, I don't know. Like, shit weeks? I don't know. What, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> terrible times? I don't know. Yeah. Eventful. Mine was a terrible Tuesday. Uh, eventful. eventful that's, yeah. That's good, there you go. Yeah. I mean, at least you had a good time at Disneyland, even if the after well, was... Well, you know, dealing with the complaining and whatnot. That yeah. It's one of those... Yeah, well, at least you had... Listen, man, I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> all, all I'm going to say is, if you're, like, in the age range of... I'm going to say, like, 16 to about 23, 
and you get to go on a vacation where you don't pay for anything, appreciate it. Because the whole time, she didn't even say thank you for people paying for her food. We went to Ohana where it was like $68 a person. Oh my god. I don't know how you can do that because I always feel so guilty when people pay for me. Well, like we yeah. had a slightly longer wait because they were a little understaffed. And she like sent a message like, hey, can we just go? I don't want to be here. And like, well, it's $68 a person and there's no refund. She's like, well, that is ridiculous. I wouldn't pay that. It's like, well, you're not paying that. You're not. Yeah, <laughs> you're not paying it. So shut the hell up, bro. And everything, literally, like, after that, she's like, that was not worth the money. I wouldn't pay that. You didn't. I thought it was delicious. Everyone else was like, that was so good. Just because you were in a bad mood. Like, what? I hate to yeah. this, bro. Yeah. So, uh, that's all I'm going to say there. If you're between that age range and you get to go on a vacation, appreciate it. Because there's going to come a point, you're not going on a vacation for years. You're going to be working yeah. every yeah. week. For years, and you're not gonna have an escape, and you're really gonna regret not taking advantage of that free time. That's all I'm saying there. Yeah, be grateful, yeah. you little assholes. I think Westy might be a little bit salty. All <laughs> I would be too, though. Yeah, I was gonna say it, it's really upsetting. We're we're just not inviting her back on vacations for like three to five years. The thing, I absolutely have had that experience as well. Like, um, I went somewhere with somebody and literally they just complained the whole time. And I was <sighs> like, you know, I don't think I'm going to go on vacation anymore. <laughs> I yeah. Didn't. Yeah. Like, no one likes just, to go with somebody who complains. It just ruins the experience, you know? It makes yeah. it way less enjoyable. Real. Well. This actually kind of um, segues into my topic because <gasps> I wanted to talk about your pet peeves. Oh. So, oh. We're kind of like there. I mean, oh, you yeah. know, complainers. That's yeah. Yeah. pretty common pet peeves. So, how do you want to do it? Can it? Be any things that just irk you, things that make you unreasonably upset or reasonably upset. Are we doing, like, um, a just chime in with something, or are we going to do this in, like, shifts? Because, oh, man, I got pet peeves. Uh, <laughs> whoever has the most wins. No. Um, oh I think you just chime in. I mean, yeah, I personally, like, maybe start with a small one. Um, people that chew with their mouth open, I'm I literally going to wring your neck. Yeah. I swear to God, close your fucking mouth. I'll kill it's you. <laughs> insane, I especially when they smack or smack oh my god too. don't smack your lips god Ooh, and like it makes me physically okay. angry <laughs> it makes me physically angry too it's the smacking unfair. lips yes people who actually with their mouth open i've always been really good at just ignoring that people who talk with food in their mouth though i want to <gasps> just take your whole plate and throw it back in your face it's so bad because you can hear like all the mushy gushies when they're talking I, it's <sighs> it's like either finish chewing like, if I'm in the middle of eating something and somebody asks me, I'll hold up a finger and be like, one second, and I will chew a little faster so I can answer. Ah. Uh -huh. Like, I, I do not talk with my mouth open. It bothers me when people are like, oh, I'm just that. It's like, okay, calm down, <laughs> Jabba, please. <laughs> I know, because usually you can't understand what they're saying anyways. So it's like, you should have just waited, and then you could have said your point, because you're going to have to say it again anyways. For real, like, just <sighs> just be like, one second. I Like, you can you can see they're chewing. Yeah. Oh, wait. I hate that so fucking much. Yeah. It's so bad. Uh, God, I have so many little pet peeves. I'm not going to bring up people who complain because I technically already did that. Yeah. And that was a given. Yeah. Complainers are just like... Ugh, it's on. so exhausting. It's, a, and also it's an age people... thing. Yeah. yeah. Also, people who um just like constantly... Will, like to dump everything that's wrong with their life at that moment and they'll just throw it on you and they never let you talk it's just like <sighs> being around people who are constantly sad or depressed and they just unload on you all the time mm -hmm. oh yeah that's and mentally they, draining it's just very draining yeah like you're just like I get it. You're sad, but it. I'm also sad, and this is not helping yeah. anyone. <laughs> you are making my life worse. It's, 
because your life sucks. So bad. <laughs> I'm understanding to a point, but like, right. I'll always be like, hey, you know what? At least there's a bright side. And if you're the person who's like, no, there is no bright side, I have legit been like, damn, your life sucks and just left. <laughs> no, it's like you know similar things it's like yeah you don't want to talk about it you just want to complain well i don't want to listen to you complain i'm sorry yeah. i'm sorry you're upset i can't help you there's therapy i right. have like when it's my friends it's like oh yeah you know i'm gonna be there to listen to my friends no and, this is like a, like random people, people will just come in and be like yeah. Yeah, yeah i had the worst day ever and it's like that's cool Bye. Go away. Like, I don't care. Yeah, like, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. And they keep going on, and it's like, okay. That yeah. or, like, people you don't really know, but either, like, you met once or you know through somebody else. I've had that happen. Mm -hmm. Who the fuck are you? I just sit down, they start talking. I'm like, who? I don't know who you are. And why are you telling me your life story right now? Uh, I don't, I don't want to know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to know. Uh, small. I'm going to. I'm gonna yeah, say to compile them. dogs. People who let their dogs jump on you, or like <gasps> growl and bark, or like oh my god, he's so dead, 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 dead. Oh like, my god! People with dogs, you are the worst, unless you're people you know. People who uh in public areas that are not off leash does oh god let their dogs walk off leash. Yeah. Don't do that. It's yeah. Dangerous. There was because I was taking. Adrian's got like the little Chihuahua uh, Terrier mix asshole. I was taking him on a walk one day, and I know he doesn't do well. He doesn't do well around people, so I don't take him around people. He's gotten better. He really fucking hates bikes. He will attack a bike if it tries to go by. Like he'll grab onto the tire. <laughs> he hates bikes. And there's a bunch of kids riding bikes. I was like, whoop! I'll have to go the long way. So I'm going the long way, and there's like these two parents with this girl in a wheelchair outside and their dog is just not on a leash and their dog sees you know our dog and comes sprinting over i don't know what the fuck the dogs they do so i have to heft up the little chihuahua that dog straight up jumps on me trying to jump up and get the chihuahua i swept its legs out from under it it landed on its back and they were like oh my god our dog i was like yeah don't let your dog jump on me what the fuck you are so fucking stupid bro and yeah it got scared it took off running and they had to run after it's like don't let your dog fucking jump on me. Like, what the hell is wrong with you? I don't know. Especially like, when it's a bigger dog. Yeah, like it was a uh, Australian Shepherd. Damn. It's like, yeah, those dogs can fucking jump. It jumped up at my face. I could have reported that shit. I didn't. I just swept its legs out from under it. Let it fall and get fucking terrified. God, that makes sense. Keep your dogs on leashes. Yeah. Even if it's like, well, he's so friendly. There's a thing called overly friendly that starts dog fights. Yeah. Think of it like if you're just sitting there relaxing and somebody ran up. Oh, my God. It's Ar Arva. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? How was your day been? If it's all up in your face, they give you a panic attack. <sighs> That's also a pet peeve of mine. The, the like, person version bitch. of that. Yes. <laughs> it's people that are just like way too up in my face and that like beginning things. Unless like you're my friend. Once again, we've established this multiple times. This is different for friends. If you're my friend, then whatever. You could probably, uh, I'd still get a little pissed off, but I know you. But if you're just like someone that's random or. It depends if you're doing you it for the well, joke. You're right. If you're coming up to my face and you're just like right up in it and you're just trying to like overwhelm me or something, I don't know. Like, oh. I've had I've met people like that before. I'd meet up with them after not seeing them for a while. They're like, "Oh my god, how are you?" Blah, 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 blah. Right in my face. Get out of my face! I don't know what you're asking. I'm overstimulated. I don't even know who the fuck you are. Get away! <laughs> Get away! I hate that shit. Yeah, that's. Ugh. I also hate there are people in this world that, like, you have your headphones in, <gasps> and they will tap on you and like tell you to take mm -hmm. your hands out so they can it's like motherfucker what do you want i'm I busy hate that the only time Ooh. that's acceptable is because at my work everyone's wearing headphones and there's sometimes like i have a work lead and i have to ask them a question of like hey what do i do with this <gasps> yeah there's certain times yeah, like yeah, you yeah. kind of have to but like if it's someone you don't really have to bother and they have headphones in, leave them alone 
random people will do yeah. this. Like, like I've gotten this in the bus. People. Oh hell no. Uh -huh. I'll be on the bus, AirPods in, literally looking dead ahead, like not looking to engage in any conversation. I am there for the ride and for the music, and I'm getting off as soon as I can. And there'll be people that'll walk up to me and like either go, hey, or tap me on the shoulder, and I just don't even move. Ooh, I don't even move. I just stand like a fucking statue. And I've had one guy who literally stood beside me for like 15 fucking minutes saying hey because I wouldn't answer them and I just did it. <laughs> it was insane. I just turned on my music, but for 15 minutes I had to stand there straight like staring straight ahead on the bus because there's a person beside me who just sat there for fucking 50 minutes going, hey. <laughs> hey. 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 And I'm like, no. Do you not understand that I'm ignoring you? I have headphones in and I am statue still. I do not want to talk to you. I don't know who the fuck you are. Back the fuck up. Ugh. And it's happened multiple times. Not as bad. That was like the worst that's ever happened. That guy was so determined to talk to me. The rest, were like, they go away after you shun them off for a little bit, you know? But that guy really didn't get it. I got off the bus, and he was still standing there. And I was like, bro. See, I think I'm what? lucky in that regard, because I'm very tall. I have a very big beard, and I have a very, very angry-looking face, just naturally <laughs> resting. People... Like, when we were at Disney, and I was walking, you would look at Adrian, who's, like, a small woman, and they would, like, bump into her shoulder, but there was times she was holding my hand. People would look at her and look at me and go, oh, shit, and, like, move out of the way. There was no crowd where I was walking, because everyone was <laughs> moving. They were fucking terrified of me. And, like, the few people who didn't, and they tried to shoulder check me, they got fucking checked. Like, I don't move, dude. Yeah. Like, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna shoulder check, you know, a child, but, like, if you're a dude bro who's there with his college frat bros and you're being like oh, da, 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 and yeah you're in my way no 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 or the people that fucking just walking in front of you and they just stop uh, that was, oh that was gonna bring these oh. up as the next pet peeves yeah slow, and they're in the middle and it's like Ooh. a group of people they take up like the whole hallway get yes. out of my way uh, yeah. like if you're gonna walk slower walk slightly to the side so i can at least you know shimmy around you i understand that not everyone can go at my pace but don't make yeah. me go at your pace. Yeah, 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 yeah. Move out of the way, bro. I've had it with people I know, too, where, like, I'll step on their heels because they're doing that. They're like, I, I do that. You. And I'm like, I'm sorry, but you literally walked in front of me and slowed down, and they'll move out of the way. And then they'll move back, and I'll step on their heels again, and they're like, oh, my God, can you stop stepping on my heels? I'm like, can you stop walking in front of me? <laughs> get out of the way. Oh, my God. Like, what? You were literally asking for this. I'm sorry. It just happened earlier. But, like, if you're going to – it's going to happen again. If you do it again, like, come on. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I hate that. I hate that so much. People who don't move out of the way when they're walking towards you mm. with, without reason. Like, if they literally can't, then understand. Yeah, so if they can't, I, we'll, I, we'll shimmy. I'm not an asshole who's going to be like, well, you better figure it out. Like, no, I got space oh, to move. Right. I'll move. I'm not going to, like, there's a child. That's a child. They don't know anything yeah. yet. That's fine. Older That's people, different. they can't really move. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, watch yeah, out for yeah, them. Yeah. Like, like you said, if it's a dude bro and he's I'm like taking up the whole fucking sidewalk and he's walking to where I'm walking, you better believe I'm going to shoulder check him. There was like three or four. No, there was bigger. There was like a group of six of them and they were trying to walk in a line of six. Oh, and I'm like, no. And I pushed through them and I heard Wolf and go, what the fuck? And I just, yeah, they dude, I just kept so shocked. Moving. And I'm like, you have no awareness if you think walking six wide in a theme park is a really good idea. Yeah, like we did two at most yeah 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 sometimes sometimes if it's big enough we did three but usually it was two we did three only when it was like somebody ran it and be like hey i don't want to go on this ride i'm gonna go over here be like all right see you mm. then and then we just go and get in line and mm -hmm. that was it yeah two usually though i mean that's just <clears throat> just walking in pairs is easier too three's a crowd For real. three's a crowd Sorry if you're the one person that is always walking behind, but like. <laughs> it's either that or you're shoulder checking literally everyone because we're too wide in the in the sidewalk and then we're that asshole. So I know. And again, it's an amusement park. There's people like this a lot. If you're going to complain about somebody taking up all the space as you're walking, don't be that same person. Right. Like it goes both ways. For real. Ugh. 
I'm a fast walker, and I need these motherfuckers to get out of my way. I am a very fast locker, walker, and I have long legs. So you got uh, long ass legs, yeah. Yeah, they're strides more than they're they're Me steps. Me trying so try to, to like down, keep but... up with Arvo when I'm walking next to him, I have to fucking jog. He's walking at, like I have to keep reminding myself to slow face. down. <laughs> yeah, Adrian does the same with me. Like, I'll just like, be God walking damn, normal, and she'll be down. doing like a little fucking power walk. Like goddamn. <laughs> It was like when I walked with my best friend, her footsteps were genuinely like double the triple the speed of mine to keep up with me. <laughs> she was like a foot smaller. And so she was like, it's like a chihuahua walking next to like a, a great day. <laughs> yeah, Big literally. old long strides, the little like little skitter scatters. Try my best. <laughs> I try to slow down as best as I can, but I got the I gay just... walk. I, I walk fast <laughs> as fuck. I got places to be. And places to be gay. Throw sachets <laughs> down the street. <laughs> it's so fast. Oopsies. Oopsie daisies. I have so many pet peeves. I'm trying to like file them. Uh, people who litter are the, so fucking. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's Just a standard like, though. It's like yeah, but so many people still do it, and it's like, bro, wait, like, take your garbage with you. It's not rocket science i know? just i i just don't get it it's i know it's garbage and it's like yeah, it's like it's garbage but like you just use whatever was in that garbage so obviously it's not that gross and you can hold on to it for a few more oh my minutes. god if you smoke do not throw your fucking cigarette butts <gasps> on the ground Ooh. you either put them back in your fucking cigarette box or you hold on to them until there's a garbage can that shit mm -hmm. annoys me so much my mom mm -hmm. does that and i yell at her every time oh. pick up your fucking butt it's that shit's not biodegradable i hate that shit when you're like the entrance of any building yeah. and there's like a smoker's area just butts everywhere it's like it's so what gross. is wrong with you I know. I don't know. I don't get it. It's so it's so irritating too because it's like you are literally choosing to do this. You I don't care if you smoke, but do not be doing that shit. Like, come on. Right. Like, come on. You know, there's gonna be like litter after, so it's not like a shock room. Be like, oh my god, I don't know where to put this garbage. Like, you should have planned this. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know what comes after smoking a cig. Yeah. Uh... But no, it's true. Littering is nasty, especially. Oh, I've seen people litter when they're like right beside a garbage can, and I'm like, oh, that's the worst. Because it's what's like, wrong with you? What is your like? Why you had no? Reason. You actually just are an awful person. Like, I normal litterers are too, but like you went above and beyond to be the worst. No, the worst is when we were in Yellowstone and we were picking up trash everywhere. <gasps> we took more no. trash out of that park than like we brought in because we threw everything <sighs> away in trash cans mm -hmm. we'd be walking down a trail and there'd be like a bottle we pick up the bottle and then we go down to be like a candy wrapper go down a little bit that's more. so unfortunate and like we we're just the whole time just picking we had like dedicated plastic bags with us to load trash up into so we could just gather it up and throw it away yeah but that always sucks to see yeah i was like this is a national park this is just sad yeah it's so infuriating. It's like, like, I, you don't have to be a tree hugger to just not be a terrible person to, to around <laughs> yeah. you. like, just don't be shitty to like fucking nature, you know? So it takes so easy. It takes just a couple. There's trash cans everywhere. Yeah. Like the excuse of like, well, there wasn't a trip. No, no matter where you are, if you like look around, there's probably a trash can with an eyesight. Or within a walking distance. Too bad, bitch. Hang on to it. Well, yeah, like where where are you? Bring something. Like even in the national parks, there was trash cans fairly frequently. Mm -hmm. Like if they yeah, because there's because of the littering, there's garbage cans everywhere now. Yeah, like where are you in the world where there's just not a trash can? Because mm -hmm. there usually is one. Worst comes to worst, it takes like a good old 10 minute walk or 15 minute walk to get to one or, or you drive home and throw it out at home. Like, I don't know. It's, it's not that long of a wait to hold on to some trash. I know. If you didn't want to hang on to it, you shouldn't have brought it. Mm hmm. Because once again, you should have been aware that whatever you're going to do with that, whatever item you had is going to have trash afterwards and you're going to have to throw it out. So it's not a shocker. 
I hate it. I hate it so much. Peak laziness it's and like, assholeness. Wow, where'd this garbage come from? <laughs> I guess I'll just throw it away. There's no garbage can around. They're always oh, so surprised. me off. They are. Like, you knew. Don't act surprised. Uh, I hate um the parents that do nothing when their kids are being like the biggest oh shit my ever. god yes. yeah i mean this is just kind of common sense more than a pet peeve but it also i guess files under there but i hate There's it like no a kid's just being an asshole sense, bro. yeah yes common sense is not that common it is like rare sense <laughs> <laughs> extra fucking rare sense but they'll be like a crying kid and they've been crying for like fucking years and i get it i get it I understand, but like crying for more than a uh, like ten minutes is just ridiculous. Mm. Like that's just insane. That's either a sign for you to leave, or a sign that you don't know how to deal with your kid because you have not been able to stop them from crying. <laughs> and I hate it. And some don't even do anything. Like they just they continue the conversation they're having with their friends, and their their baby or their kid is just freaking out, and they're just like conversing. And I'm, uh, I was, do you not care about your kid besides you? There are certain instances where I understand it, like, like we were on a plane and a baby started crying. It's like that's annoying, but like, there's yes. nothing you can do. You get it because the ears are popping. There's the, yeah, they don't know what's happening. You gotta fly just to get to where mm -hmm. you're going. But like in in fucking public, we're like, I want you know my iPad, and they're like, well, and I was like, well, no, because you didn't say please, and they're screaming, crying for like ten minutes in public, like, yo. Think of everyone else, please. Yeah. Like, yeah. be it just a little bit more lenient if it's going, if you're going to be at a place for like two hours and your kid's going to cry for an hour and a half of that, please. I don't give a fuck <laughs> what they did. Please. Yeah. Like, what yeah, the yeah, fuck? Yeah. Exactly. Because I've had that uh, so many times. Happened a lot at Disney, which, once again, that's more forgiving because I get it. It's Disney. But there were still some instances where the parent was obviously just like a shit parent and they just didn't do anything. And I'm like, well, why are you bringing your kid to Disney? <laughs> I get you why. But like if your kid's going to be like this and you're not going to do anything about it, then like why are you here? Because yeah. obviously your kid's not loving this. <laughs> Something's got to change. Yeah. I mean, if my kid is going to be throwing a temper tantrum anywhere, like we're leaving. I don't care. Right. For real, though. Or they act right and they, they show that they could be there and then we stay there. But if they're going to just keep having a temper tantrum, then sorry, you've lost the privilege of being here. For now, unless you can show me that you are, you know, capable of not throwing a temper tantrum for more than a few seconds. <laughs> but the plane, uh, once again, there's instances where this doesn't count. The yeah, plane is one of those. Whenever I hear a baby crying on a plane, I'm like, yeah, that's, that's fair. <laughs> okay, but on planes, when your kid... If your kid is kicking my seat. Ooh. Oh, God. Ooh, yeah. Okay. I want to say on the flight to Disney, honestly, not bad. It was fine. It was actually really quiet, really smooth. On the flight mm. back, there was a family in front of us. And, like, the dad was to my front right, but the mother was in front of me. And, like, all their kids, the kids were, like, looking back at us constantly. And I, every time I was like, mm. fucking what? Like, don't look at me. <laughs> then the mother kept like, like they would say something and the mother would like laugh and she would jostle back in her seat really hard and like shake the seat uh, and the tray table. And I'm like, yo, chill the fuck out. <laughs> That's actually crazy. That's hard to do. I know. That bitch was bucking. She fucking was. And the whole time I'm like, <laughs> you asshole. Like, I really want to start kicking your seat now. I didn't because yeah. I'm going to be the better person. But next time I would start throwing up the middle finger at them. And if they say anything and the, and the parents like, oh, how could you do? I'm like, I didn't do that. What are you talking about? I'd, yeah, I was pointing wrong finger. They saw the wrong finger. I was pointing. I didn't even know they were looking at me. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> well, I, yeah, there was, I was a just, point. I just something. put headphones in and tried to like lean back because it was only a two hour flight. So I wasn't going to be. Yeah. Two sorry. hours. Not the worst. I can, and when they see that, they're gonna give up too, because they're gonna see that you're not interested, and they're gonna be like, "Oh, yeah, this isn't fun." But still, ugh. yeah, it's like the lack of seat etiquette slash just like social awareness in general. No like social awareness. People bucking back with their seat, kicking seats. 
Yeah, I've had that so many times. Ugh. Ugh. I've had like, oh my god, there's this one time that like someone's foot came through the middle of my seat. Mm. Oh, bro. And like they didn't have any shoes on or anything. Ugh. So you bet. No. So I, I stepped on their foot. I yeah. did. I, I just stepped on it. <laughs> they didn't say anything to me. I was really nervous they're gonna say something, but if they did, I was gonna be like, get your fucking nasty ass feet away from me. What do you have like, I don't know. Uh, just get them away. I don't like that. That's nasty. Like, what? Who do you think you are? Yeah, <laughs> who do you think you are real. doing this? What? I'm tall, and I never let my feet go past like the bar that's set under the the seat. Yeah, you can like, put your feet pretty far under the seat before it gets into like the next person's territory. And like getting your foot out from under my seat is actually fucking crazy because that's so far away. Like, I just oh, I hate airplanes sometimes. <laughs> I hate them. Little crazy boxes that you're stuck on. I feel like it's the worse worst people as a tall ever. person, definitely. That's why I stick the aisle oh. seat. So I, at worst, I can like stretch my leg out yeah. really quick in the aisle. I don't care about the window. Like I'll take no, an the aisle window's seat. So pretty for like two seconds, and then it's shit. <laughs> it's like, so it's just clouds, not worth it. So yeah. If I do need to take a picture of like a pretty sunset, then I could just ask the person in the window seat or like usually my family sitting there. So I could be like, hey, can you take the picture? I don't care. Well, I don't like because I do need to stretch. It's I think it's more fun when you're younger, but when you're older and you've flown a few times, it really is just like it. Eh, I have seen it. It's the same thing. It's just a city and some clouds and some grass, grassy land. And then there'll be like a sunset or sunrise if you're flying at like that time. Yeah, so Ooh. when you're younger, take the window seat and just enjoy it. But when you're older, take the aisle seat because the leg room is... Because your body will enjoy everything. it. Yes. Yeah. Being able I to have that quick stretch. It. I like the window seat because I like having the wall there to like rest. That's fair. My body on. That's fair. I also don't like the window seat because I don't like being crammed in the back waiting to just get off the plane because I can't <gasps> move till everyone else oh. does. Oh... At least I'm on an okay. aisle seat and there's a gap. I can stand up and I'll just be like, all right, yeah, now we're waddling. Wait. Yeah. But if Speaking I'm. Speaking of that. I hate that. I'm oh, sorry. Pet peeve. People who don't like start unpacking their luggage and like above, like a head, the head space above, like they wait until it's their turn to get off the plane. I hate that. Cause it's so, like, getting off a plane takes fucking forever, anyways. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you're sitting there waiting when you could have been taking your bags out while everyone's standing, obviously not all of them, because sometimes there is enough space, but you could have been working on it because now everyone ahead of you is gone and we could be moving, but you're sitting here taking your bags out. You could have done it earlier and that the process would have been so much smoother. We would have all been off this plate earlier. I hate it. I get it. Sometimes carry on. You can't take it out yet because there's no space. There's so many people on the plane, but like try you know, or have the fucking compartment at least open so you can get your shit out because we want to go. <laughs> I've just been on a flight for like two and a half hours. I don't want to stand here any longer and watch you struggle with your fucking suitcases because you should have done it earlier. I also hate people who don't wait their turn as well. I literally there because oh. like, you know how it works on an airplane. Everybody's been on the uh -huh. airplane. They know. What you're going to have to do, if you're at the back, you know, you're going to have to wait for everybody in the front to get off first. And if you're in the mm -hmm. front, you get off first. I literally, there was this one time I was on a plane and the moment they, the fucking seatbelt sign came off, a person from the very, very back of the plane beelined it to the front and <sighs> like shoved their way through everybody. And I was so mad. I'm like. Wait your goddamn turn. That's crazy. Because then the people who are in the front trying to get their luggage out and shit, they're interrupted because this guy is shoving his way up. Yeah. Oh, that's frustrating. Like, you knew. Yeah. You know your seats prior to the flight. You knew you're going to be back if here. If you want to get off that fast, and I don't see most people have to go to the fucking baggage claim anyway, so who cares? Yeah. But if you need to get off, if you want to get off that fast, for whatever reason, you should be getting your fucking seat in the front of the plane, bro. <laughs> yeah. Right. Or, like, not booking whatever's next so close to the time you have to get off. Unless it's, like, a uh, an overlay. But even then, like, they should be scheduled properly. So you shouldn't have to rush off the plane like this. 
you have an overlay, make sure you're at the front of the plane. Right? Like, I don't know. It's just so stupid. You know you're at the back of the plane. Come on. <laughs> it's not like they're surprised. You're like, oh my god, I'm <gasps> I'm at the back of the plane. Shocker. You know where you're sitting, bitch. It's on your ticket. Yeah. <laughs> it's on your fucking ticket, you know. Once again, it's one of those things that's like, come on, don't act all shocked. Don't don't act like you have to run to the front of the plane. You knew. You knew you did. You you booked it. Mm-hmm. Maybe it wasn't the seat you wanted. Maybe it was booked up, but like you just have to wait your turn. Then that's just how that's just how it works. Yeah, it's like flying Southwest. They don't do like reserve seats. It's literally you get what you get when you get there. But mm. you can pay for a higher boarding group. If you don't yeah. want to spend the money, be patient. If you're sitting all the way in the back, exactly. You didn't want to exactly. spend the money. That's not like my fault because we got twenty extra dollars to be an A, so we could have like a nice row. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Your poor planning does not constitute an emergency for me. Oh. Uh, I'll say a very personal one. Like pet peeve mm. for me. I hate it when people constantly repeat themselves, but in a very specific way. Mm. My dad was actually the worst at this because he said, you know, for everything. One conversation my dad was. He would be like, well, you know, I was doing this and, and you know, I, you know, I do this really well. And, you know, you know, I do that well, you know, and, you know, I was over here doing that. And I was like, oh, my God, please stop. I, it grates on me. Mm. If you if I if you like repeat yourself, it's like, well, you didn't hear me. You're repeating the whole thing. You're not repeating one thing constantly throughout Yay, the whole thing. Yeah. Like, please stop. I catch myself doing that with the word like a bunch and it's really bad. So I'll like come halfway through a sentence just stop saying like completely because I said it so much. I'm like, okay, we got to get rid of this word. It's a new word. <laughs> we need a new word. Yeah, we need a new word. My dad's no, so I funny. This isn't a pet peeve, but it's just like so dumb and like everyone knows that he does it. So it's like an inside joke almost. But my dad will be like, he'll ask a question and he'll be like, oh, what's that movie? Or... Like, yeah, for example, he'll be like, what's that movie? And we'll be like, which movie? And he'll be like, the, you know, the one with the guy in it. <laughs> Adrian's oh, mom no. does that. Oh, <laughs> or he'll be like, who's that actor? And we'll be like, what, who, which, like, which actor? And we'll be like, but, you know, buddy who's in that movie. It's like, what the fuck is me? Oh, thanks. That's so helpful. He'll be yeah. like, where's, where's that one place where you get that stuff? And it's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Anywhere that's a shop? Like, he also mean? will like come oh up God. with random words for places. He'll be like, "Oh, you're gonna go to uh cockapoos," and I'm like, "The fuck is that?" And he's like, "You know, the book place. It's like <laughs> chapters." He's like, "Yeah, yeah that one." Like, what? Are you what? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, bro? Adrian's mother does this, and it's the funniest fucking thing. Cause I didn't know she did this the first time I met her. I was sitting in their living room, you know, and. She was watching TV and she's like, oh, you know, this person has that one person from Texas. And then she's like, Ricky. And she paused it and lo like, look down her chest and goes, Taquito. And we're like, what? And then look over on screen. It's Ricky Martin. She called him Ricky Taquito, but whispered the name oh Taquito. My God. And we're like, hold up. Who the fuck is Ricky Taquito? Because she couldn't remember the name, <laughs> so she just picked a random one. Or she'll like be just saying like, She'll be sitting there talking and be like, who was that one person I was talking to back in high school? And then she'll like look at us like we fucking know. Literally, <laughs> yes. I it's know like, yeah, I was there. Yeah, it's, I was there. It's yeah. like, it was rowdy. <laughs> it's really fucking funny. <laughs> it's so funny, but it's also so infuriating sometimes. It's, the point it's now a little bit of both. Make random shit up. It's like, bitch, what do, why are you asking me? I don't know. Yeah, like, saying it's that guy from this is not going to help. I'm sorry. I don't know who Buddy from Bu th that show is, you know? He what? always says Buddy all the time. Like, Buddy. <laughs> Who's buddy? that? Who's that Buddy? Like, I don't... I, I have no idea. I love the, who was that one person from that movie I was watching last night, you know? And I'm like, no, I don't know. <laughs> what movie no were you watching? Idea. You She's were like, watching I don't remember movie. the name. <laughs> And it's like, I don't know. She's like, ah, no one ever remembers. Someone hit me with 
that it literally in my chat last night they were like i found another bat vtuber and I was like, oh, yeah, wh what's their name? And they were like, I don't remember. I was like, fuck you. you <laughs> Why bring it up? Why did you say that if you don't know? I've had that a few times. And so I've done that a few times, though, guilty. I started talking about, like, someone I met on stream or something I met or something I've seen. And then I, they're like, oh, what is it? And I'm like, uh-huh. You know, you know that one guy? <laughs> yeah, Buddy from that movie. <laughs> yeah, you know Buddy? Buddy from that, like, uh... Beard Jojo. Yeah. It's, oh my god. I have a lot of. Things. Oh fuck. I had one and I lost it. Oh my god. It was good. Well, it was bad because it's a pet peeve, but I had something. Fuck. Oh no. I'm waiting. I lost it. it. Um. I lost it. I'll think about it. I mean, I'm trying to think of like I'm trying to think of more specific pet peeves and not just the general ones that everyone has. But yeah, that's what this one was. Fuck! Ah, I can't remember. It's gonna bug me. It's like right on the tip of my tongue. I was just um, my pet peeve is when people forget what they were gonna tell me. Oh, okay. Funny enough, I was just about to do a bit about that and say, man, my pet peeve is when people forget things. <laughs> <laughs> I beat you to it. Shit. I mean, I think that's like all of my super specific ones, though. Because everything else is just like, yeah, I hate it when people park too close to me. Or like, oh yeah. man, I hate it when the neighbors are super loud at random times. Yeah. Oh my god. My neighbors will like have a conversation on their phone for like hours. And it'll be like at 12 fucking a.m. So not i'm so when i used to work at michael's this is more of a problem because my sleep schedule is obviously fucking shit now but when i was at michael's and had to sleep at like a normal time it was a nightmare because it was always during the summer too so i had my window open or like an air conditioner so i could hear through the window i could hear through it even when it's closed but like it was worse because it was open and they would just be so fucking loud like until like sometimes 1 or 2 a.m and i'm like how fucking long are you gonna talk to this person oh my god are you not sick and tired of them yet? Because I would be Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> so irritating. And they're like next door too. So they're just right in my ear all night. Ooh. Bad. I love that. Um. Oh, if I'm like on my phone looking at stuff, anyone who like looks over my shoulder, it's like, oh my God, don't <sighs> do that. I will oh. elbow you. Get out of here. Ooh. There, it's like Adrian Especially just like, I don't really like care. Really you know? obvious to like looming over the shoulder. Yes. You can like feel them. Get away from me. And they'll be like, what are you looking at? None of your business, bro. And you would know if what? I want you to know. What you are you know, looking at? I would Dick tell picks. you. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Next time someone does that, I should frantically switch over to like the biggest cockpit I can find. For real, and if though. I hear a oh, behind me, then I know someone's watching my screen. Literally, oh my god, I went on this trip one time, and this person, like, if I went on my phone for a millisecond, they would be like, "Why? Are you, what are you doing? Why are you on your phone? It's oh. like, let me check my notifications, man. Oh, that's so... And they, like, stand next to me and look at me, like, look at my phone. It's like, bro, I'm gonna open up. Somebody's gonna, like, people DM me naked women all the time, so I don't know. <laughs> Wait, if you don't, I, like, get out of here, bro. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's so I hate that too. The I've had that I I've had that before so many times where you go on your phone and it's instantly like, what are you doing? I'm not fun enough for you. Is, is are you on your phone now because you hate me or something? And I'm like, oh my god, brother, brother. That's why I'm checking for notifications just in case something happens, you know? Yeah, also the maybe reason I have this. I don't wanna fucking like the our our conversation ended. Right, or maybe I just like want to go on my phone. Maybe, maybe, maybe we spent all day together, and I'm a little tired, and I just want to go on my phone for a bit. This was a person that I was on a trip with for ten days. Oh my god, Ooh. phone time is so warranted. Oh it's my like, god. Why do you mean? Like, what am I doing? About what? Like, leave me alone, bro. <laughs> I'm currently trying to stay sane. You know. I'm trying to ground myself with the phone because I have to be here for 10 days with you. <laughs> Not because I hate you. It's just that's a lot of time to spend with someone. So I need some away time on my phone. Yes. Literally, yeah. These are uh, so annoying. 
Yeah. Like, that's why my best friends are people who will also just go on their phone. <laughs> right. It's just like the mutual opening of like the same app and you hear it and one of you guys just both turn on your volume a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I had that a bunch thing. with my friend. We've watched TikTok together or separate, depending on our, our social energies. I still can't remember that pet peeve I had. Fuck. Yeah, I think that's all. That's my own personal pet peeve is when I forget my own things I want to say and then I remember them when I'm going to sleep the same <laughs> fucking night. You're gonna get I'm gonna get a DM from you at like five in the morning. That'd be <laughs> really be like, funny. I remember I found it. That'd be really funny. Oh my god. It's yeah. always like that. It's always right before I go to sleep. I'm like the doing the pre close eyes thinking. And then I'm like, ah, oh, what did I do today? And then all of a sudden, like in big bold letters, it's like, this is what you forgot. Great, I need that now at like 3 a.m. That's so great. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so glad you remembered now. Well, I didn't really think of a way to like get a winner for this episode. I was wondering <laughs> how you're gonna pick a winner. Winner? A winner. A uh, I didn't really think that far ahead. So I uh, just... my pet peeve is when someone can't figure out the winner. Oh my god. Okay, Westy wins. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll just do a coin flip. Damn it. I think that's the best way, easiest way to do it. All right. Heads or tails? Quick. Heads. Somebody heads. Quick. Oh, tails. Okay. Westy heads. Arva is tails. Westy heads. Arva tails. Westy wins. Woo! <laughs> Westy, what's your winner's speech? Yo, everyone out there, stop talking with your mouth full of fucking food. <laughs> Get your kids under control. Stop being such shitty human being. Get some personal, like, fucking awareness. Just get some awareness in general. If you're in public, yo. Yeah. No one cares about your life. Take your phone off speakerphone. Yeah. Oh my god, that's another one. <gasps> oh, my, my oh, people that play like that. music like, loud on speaker yeah. too, similar. I feel like those yeah. are in the same category. Yeah. My dad does that and I'm like, Dad, I'm gonna kill Oh, it's so <laughs> Oh. I had people in high school that did that. That's such a high school thing to do, so don't do that. Yeah, or like an old man thing to do, I feel. <laughs> or an old man who's deaf and has to do it for himself, but then oh, like hinders everyone else because or of it. Or yeah. my dad will like be like, Oh, I have to call this guy and he'll like call them and we're in a drive through like you're about to have to talk to somebody <sighs> get off your phone for real that's a nightmare uh, yeah everyone stop doing that be better people yeah westy uh oh sorry wait no you won yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, same thing i was just gonna say be better come on be better, yeah. we're actually in agreement yeah. Make common sense be common. You know, let's bring that back. Make common sense people. common again. We can, we can <laughs> game. Yeah. And get uh, get rid of your fucking pet peeve annoyances. If you're annoying my pet peeve, change. <laughs> change to suit me. Change to suit me. Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> Obviously joking, but like stop being a shitty person for real, though. I mean, I'm not joking. You should change to suit my. Yeah, <laughs> if they're if they're like a common pet peeve, then you should probably actually change. If people are telling you something is annoying constantly, um, it's probably fucking annoying. You should stop doing it. <laughs> For real. Yeah. That's all for this episode. Thank you guys for listening uh, to us complain for like an hour. That's yeah. Basically, the entire episode was just being like, "Oh man, this sucks." Uh, this sucks. People suck. I hate this. But uh, that's what you signed up for when you decided to listen to this podcast. It is a yeah. bunch of complainers. That's true, though. Uh, hey, <laughs> yeah. we didn't talk about the state of video games this time. We so did it. We're getting better. We're about that. Well, we did at the end, but you know. Well, no, this doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> this is a separate occasion, this right? This is different. This is different. Um, as always, you can find myself at Fair of the Bat everywhere. Westy is Westy HCC everywhere. And Arva is Arva on Twitch and Arva 
underscore 69. Is it underscore or is it just 69? It's underscore, yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. I got it right the first time. I second doubted myself. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for listening. Uh, Westy will be hosting next week. Hopefully, he doesn't give us homework. Nope. That's my only... Okay, thank God. Yes. Nice. <laughs> I have an idea for it. <laughs> nice. Okay. Thank you guys so much for listening, and we will uh, see you guys next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>